what brings us all together is our understanding and appreciation of what we can do together when we put our minds to it. problems that led to bringing our project to life were Bahrain's seasonal heat effects, its high relative humidity, the impact of conventional vapor compression cycles on the environment, and its high power consumption. The liquid desiccant air conditioner is simply a combination between an evaporative cooler with a dehumidifier. The dehumidifier, however, uses something called liquid desiccant, which is basically a chemical solution of water mixed with calcium chloride that absorb moisture from the air by inducing mass and heat transfer, allowing these cooling units to function effectively in humid climates such as Bahrain's. The evaporative cooler, on the other hand, lowers down the temperature of the air by interacting with water spray being pumped from the nozzles at the top of the container. At first, we built a model using Comsel, which is the software we used for simulation. Uh, this model helped us get preliminary information before building the actual project. We then began to sketch and draw the actual physical model and we ultimately constructed um, the 3D model. Um, when everything was put together, it was time to test the prototype. And with the help of our department and especially Dr. Omar Abbati, we were able to measure the air's temperature and humidity. As we previously know, conventional evaporative coolers operate on a low humidity. But here in Bahrain, we all know that our humidity is high throughout the year. Our dehumidifier unit that uses liquid desiccant at a concentration of 30% decreased the outside relative humidity to 70%. That can increase the cooling capacity of evaporative coolers in Bahrain in addition to decreasing the high power consumption of conventional ACs.